Ever since I got the Damascus camo, the only thing I wanted to do on the game was to drop a nuke in Ground War. Because the regular multiplayer, aside from Search and Destroy, just wasn't really doing it for me. Before I could do that though, the Warzone update came out. And I liked playing the squads, the trios, because I had a friend who was really excited to get on there and try that out. But aside from when he was on, I hated playing with the random players, so I was really glad a week later that they came out with the solos. And I've been bouncing between playing that, trios when my friend's on, and then ground war, trying to get that nuke still, which seems impossible because everybody who I see doing the nukes is either on PC and they're just like superhuman, or that somebody on console but they're playing with their friends so they have their backs watched. Because you know the way the maps work, there's like so many angles, you can't even watch every single angle. It just feels like it's meant to be played with friends. It almost feels like the game was designed. It literally almost feels like the game was designed with the Battle Royale in mind before they even thought about the rest of the game. Like it was like the game was designed first as the Battle Royale, then they built Ground War and then all the other things. Just the way that most of the maps are designed, everything, it seemed like they were in that kind of Battle Royale open big map mindset, you know, that open big map mindset before they even did anything on the game. It just seems like that's like a theme throughout the whole thing and having to play with other people. So if you don't have friends to play with, it's kind of hard. It's a lot harder to do things that you could do on previous Call of Duties as a solo player, even including just regular streaking up and stuff like that you know, past maybe 12 or 13, 14 streaks and stuff like that, on console at least. You know, if you're playing on a PC and you're on crossplay and you're on ground war, it's a lot easier to get crazy streaks on ground war on a PC playing against console players that have way lower frame rate and way lower refresh rate and all those other things. So that's just something I've been thinking about because some of the people that I watch doing nukes are usually on PC. Some of them are console, but then some of them are doing either regular multiplayer, which I don't know if they reverse boosted, or some of those maps are actually easier to camp, some of the regular multiplayer easier to camp than ground war. But I want ground war because it seems more of a challenge and it also seems like there's not skill based matchmaking. I'm not 100% whether there is or not, but yeah, I want to do it on ground war. It, it just feels like um, there's so many things that are going really well for the game, and I just hope they continue to add more maps, better maps, maybe less quote unquote porous maps, so we could have some more maps that we can play, really just go gun skill against gun skill rather than it's sometimes feeling like who's gonna move first because the other person's just it's just a patience game sometimes and sometimes you know that's not really what you want to do when it seems like real life can be a patience game sometimes you're not really trying to get on the game sit there have a a standoff like somebody hold up in a freaking den and the cops outside or some shit not everybody's always trying to do that. So yeah, I'm hoping we can get some more of those type of maps, some more ground war maps. I I want to play ground war and I want to play with crossplay turned off, but I can't even find a lobby on there. I don't know why. I don't even think that's the issue though with ground war, like with me trying to get a nuke lately on there. I think the issue with that is just the way the map's set up. Like in order to really do that I would have to have other people playing with me maybe like one or two people at least at least one player you know kind of like watching my back and helping me with different angles and stuff because you can't watch every single angle at all times and the way that ghost and certain things work with the mini map it's just pretty hard to you know account for 30 something players 32 players on the other team at all given times while you're trying to watch one angle there could be the random guy with the fucking knife and a shield coming from some other side to come and stab you in the back while you think you got it figured out where all the enemies are at and everything like that 
So yeah, it can be frustrating. My favorite thing about the game though so far is definitely the guns, the way they feel, and the graphics. Something I think they could definitely work on is, is the connection, like the net code. And, you know, the servers are a little bit laggy sometimes and stuff like that. But, you know, there's so many different factors. And with them being the first Call of Duty game to have cross-play like they're having right now and all these other things, they're implementing so many new things that are going to be like a standard from here on out that, you know, it's... Of course, the guinea pig is going to suffer a little bit. Like, this is the first, and it's going to keep getting better over time and over the next couple titles of Call of Duty and everything like that. I just hope that it's not, like, a super, super drastic change between one to the next on a year-to-year -year basis. You know, I think the main thing that needs to change is the maps. The maps and then a couple things with balancing with like the perks, with the way that Ghost works, the way the mini map works. Things like that will influence the way that people play on the game. 